What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Reviews Unplugged. My name is Oscar and welcome back to our secondary market check number three. So just to start this off, let's go over what's on the screen right now. Welcome to Wraith is launching today if you're watching this on the 6th. So I would really go there. Just off the bat, if you're watching this and you want flesh and blood products, Go find a reputable dealer and go ahead and order from them. It's going to be the best value because you don't know what you're going to get. You're going to be able to have the fun of pulling and everything like that. And then Arcane Rising releases next week on the 13th. So that's pretty much the gist of this video, guys. I mean... We will still go through the eBay listings. We still will look at stuff like that, but it's really not inducive to your, I don't know, best value to actually even be on eBay right now, especially with everything. I bet you everything's gonna be really like crazy pipe, uh, like price spikes, just because you know how people are. Everyone's trying to feel special. Everyone's trying to make a quick buck. So let's just check it out. See what we're working with. Uh, the, the best, the favorite thing I like to always look up is flesh and blood lots, and just see like, you know, just stuff that, you know, I already clicked on this. This is a huge ripoff. This guy's trying to sell you forty-five bucks for just a bunch of tokens. Yep, literally just a bunch of tokens. I can't tell what that is. Not worth my time, folks. Four coal foil promos. Personally, I think they're cool, but $300, not worth it if you guys uh, are actually wanting coal foil promos. Uh, Team Covenant right here, guys. Let's go to them. Wait till this guy is available and order that. You'll get some coal foil weapon promos. Uh, and then we've got just... This is two biddings, new listing. Uh, this one actually looks pretty, pretty cool. So it says Majestics, everything like that for five bucks, six days. Uh, this listing looks pretty solid to be honest, just because of how cheap it is currently and you are getting a lot of products. Like, look at this, that is really solid. I, w I will say if this price doesn't exceed you have to think that every of these every single one of these star decks I think retails for about twelve dollars right so just twelve times four mm, let's just throw out a random number that I'm feeling uh, 20 bucks plus shipping and handling because you always got to add that that's where he's trying to get you like $44.55 see that's that's the thing you see everyone's trying to get you in some kind of way that shipping and handling right there $44 it does not cost you that much guys to actually uh, ship th this much product out even if you're going to be like super protective like me I'm super crazy about shipping out products because the last thing I want is my eBay score to go down so if I'm sending out singles that's gonna go in a sleeve in a top loader and in a game bag if I don't have a game bag I put a sticky note over the top of it and then a masking tape around it so that it still doesn't allow the card to fall out and the masking tape is easy to take off because if you use regular white tape that stickiness can damage the card but with masking tape usually if you just get it by the corner you can easily take that off and that piece of um, sticky note can just go right over not allowing that card to move up without putting any kind of stickiness on there just a little little best practice tip for you guys right there but yeah, I mean, everything is really overpriced. I mean, let's check this guy out. Cause it says majestic and rare. So twinning, ruin blade. I mean, hmm. this is, I guess, a, a pretty, 
pretty good depending on what it, it's at last selling price is you know that's why there are 18 watches on it because it is a pretty good little little value right there something i did want to check out let's go with flesh and blood what bulk because i think this is something see nothing is even popping up under bulk I, w I would always look for that and right now the secondary market is really really dry with products uh, what you guys can also do is go to prices the lowest with shipping and everything so this one right here is on auction for a dollar not worth it not worth it none of this is worth it so far horrible photo real common card so hmm see even that Benji right there like these heroes aren't that difficult to pull for being honest so yeah I, I, I mean I won't even post this on the reddit to be honest guys there's really a very bare market nothing of of great quality here and look at this post right here this guy just put a picture of the stock back stock Let's switch up the video guys and just go off and look at other products like Channel Fireball. See what they've got now going on. You all. They're selling their alpha prints for grand. They're selling the Arcane Rising for $500. Um, that's pretty cool I guess if you're running Guardian and but not for that price actually now that I see unlimited don't do it guys if if it's between buying this single card and buying an entire booster box go for the booster box get yourself way more product way more product and then you have the possibility of pulling all three of these cards right here uh, okay the Tomb of Vandal. Ah, that one's really good. I mean, for 40, like you see, like $35. You can get yourself a booster box for a little bit more than that. You know, and the rainbow foil for $70. You have to understand that this is going to be a huge supply. This is literally called the unlimited model for a reason or the unlimited edition for a reason because they're going to continue to print this to oblivion. They're gonna print until we are oversaturated with product, until there is nothing more to be gained from this product. That's why I would say it is not worth buying any singles whatsoever at this point in time. I would say go off and find yourself booster boxes. The <laughs> This is gonna be the worst video ever guys honestly I'm, I'm gonna cut it at like 10 minutes but this is just for me personally just to have like a timestamp of you know where the market was at the beginning of the eliminated to how it's progressed over the years let's uh, let's look up something pretty cool let's look up the lore book I've saw Bronson look up the lore book before but myself i've never looked it up it's not even on the market look at that yeah guys i would say this is a very bearish market there's i mean and for good reason guys honestly because there's no reason to be buying any of this stuff right now at all even these welcome to the alpha prints like you could probably say but in like five, ten years, if flesh and blood is the next great TCG, is gonna be worth seven, eight thousand dollars. You know, like it is such a great investment. It's like, yeah, it is. But we're here for to be players, uh, first and foremost, trying to get good deals for players and looking at everything that's available. So nothing much to be said other than uh, go buy booster boxes. Go find booster boxes and. And I might sound like a shill or you might think I'm sponsored, but they don't even know I exist folks Team Covenant still has the best Product on the market the best value 
I'll leave you guys if you did make it all the way to this end portion right now. I will give you this little advice. I think the best value overall for flesh and blood products, hands down, is uh, Rudy from Alpha Investments. He is going to be the best. He has the greatest bundles. He's going to have something amazing in December. And that's one of the things that I'm going to really like show off that he's got the best deals because he's going to get Crucible of War Unlimited or sorry Crucible of War First Edition little, little Rudy boxes with the the big bulky box and three Crucible of War booster boxes and a play mat with some rainbow foils so that's going to be pretty awesome. That's going to be something to cop if you are part of the Patreon. I don't know if he's accepting more people or how that even works out. But my name is Oscar. And this is really stinker. <laughs> so thank you if you guys actually stayed tuned to this whole video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you've made it all the way. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.